a canopy of conifers had sheltered the sleeping Dante, but now a morning wind moved the branches and a blanket of snow fell on him, and startled, he shot up. Birdsong, a tepid sun on his face, he rubbed his eyes, tension seized him. Flashes of yesterday's fighting and close combat terrified him, and the closeness of death haunted him for a few moments. Dante shivered, darting anxious glances, afraid that German soldiers or Brigitte Negra would emerge from dense clumps of conifers and kill him. He took deep, steady breaths, just like Fred had taught him, and his racing pulse slackened. The jagged pains tearing into his stomach eased. Dante brushed the snow of his arms, legs and torso. A painful ache pulsated where the bullet had smashed the panzerfaust into his back. The nagging, soaring pain in his arms and legs brought dizziness and nausea, and he pushed his hands deep into the snow until they found the earth and held him still. Dante swallowed the lump in his throat, hunching his shoulders against the cold wind. He tugged on the sling of the Lee Enfield, bringing the rifle close to his shoulder and attempted an even pace. Chiarina gazed after Dante as he walked to the tree line, glad that his faltering step soon found the marching rhythm. She still had the binoculars and magnified Dante, bringing him close enough that she felt she could touch him. Kirina watched her beloved from the window until he cleared the tree line, and, making rapid progress towards the ridges, he vanished from her view.